Well, after a good night's sleep on the Thompson Spirit, it was time to go ashore and uh, have a look around the vicinity of uh, Aquabar. Quite a welcoming committee. These are Bedouin tribes people. They do look scrappy old things. I bet they taste good. You can tell the Bedouins because they wear black headdresses, whereas the Jordanians, they wear red ones. So this is Wadi Rum. These are the seven pillars of wisdom made famous by T.E. Lawrence. Let's go for a drive. We're bouncing along through the, uh, the Wadi Rum desert near uh, Aquaba. Wadi means valley and the rum bit doesn't mean you can get a drink, it means it contains some of the highest points in the area. This desert is sensational, very inspiring. What a great way to get around it, rattling around in the back of one of these. Now, later on, we're going to see the other part of Wadi Rum. We're going to see the inscriptions, the sand dune, Lawrence Valley River pictures, and then to the buses and back, like what I said before. This direction, all the way down to the left side to Aqaba. Well, I've not done anything to the, uh, the pictures. The sand really does look that red. Right here we can see Lawrence Farabia, that's 1917. After one year from the Great Arab Revolt, which started from Aqaba, even from Wadi Ram in 1916. And then there is someone of the Bedouins who's going to carve this picture for Lawrence Farabia in 1917. So a great visit to the Wadi Rum Desert and uh, driving around in the back of those 4x4s, really great. Uh, here's a Bedouin encampment. We had uh, tea and cinnamon flavoured biscuits. Uh, really, really rather pleasant. Uh, in the baking heat, it was, uh, it was about midday by now and uh, it was about 28 degrees. In a few weeks time, the average midday temperature will be 40. And tomorrow we're going to see the ancient city of Petra. But that's it from me for today. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>